I tell people they go, oh. <laughs> uh, but I went to CVS to get like some ointment for it. And this is the receipt. <laughs> uh, and, uh, two items, uh, there's the teeth whitener. And uh, it seems like a waste of paper. What's great about this is that it's very durable. So after the ointment doesn't work, you can just hang yourself with it. <laughs> this. We found him uh, dead. Um, unfortunately, uh, John Doe had a uh, sky in his eye and the whitest teeth we've ever seen. <laughs> so, uh, all right, guys, well, let's get to it. Uh, so, has anyone seen this, uh, that Andrew Lloyd Webber has Cats, the musical, is now a feature film. Has we seen anyone seen through this? Uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, I, I saw the trailer and, uh, boy, what a dog. Um, I told him to the white guy, actually. I said, hey, uh, you gotta see this. And he said, uh, no cat would have ever signed off on this. <laughs> that's funny, because, you know, cats don't sign off on things. <laughs> but what if a cat did sign off on this? Just imagine that world, you know, bathroom, all the, all the top cats are there, right? Okay, you all know me. I'm Felix the cat. Can we stop cleaning cells for a second? We'll get started. Uh, first introductions. Over here, you got Garfield and Associates. <laughs> you got Sylvester the Loon. Right back there, right there. The Cheshire Cat. We'd love to see more of you, pal. Just saying, we'd love to see more of you. Uh, Cat and Hatch, take that off. It's respectful. It's respectful. That about wraps it up. Uh, oh, wait. Hello, Kitty. <laughs> All right. Down to business. Hollywood has offered us a considerable ball of yarn. Okay? If we support this film, cats. Grumpy Cat was not a fan. Grumpy Cat is no longer here. <laughs> Moment of silence for Grumpy Cat. You know, you got Garfield over here patting himself. <laughs> All right, let's do the vote. All those fans say meow. All those folks say something different. Perfect. Send in the pussy and cat man. Let's start the Steelers party started. I don't like that story, don't you know why? Because it villainizes cats. I'm a dog person, not John Wick dog person. But, uh, although if you're not a John Wick dog person, you know, what kind of dog person, if you're not, you know, what kind of dog person are you to be fair? You know what I hate is dog runs. I can't, I can't stand dog runs. Dog runs to me are always the shittiest side of any home, always. And, uh, you know, I love how people are always, or real estate people are always saying, Try to sell this thing as a feature, you know? You come to the kitchen, oh, welcome to your, your lovely home, your, your lovely new home. Marble countertops, stainless steel appliances, and of course a door that leads to a cement patch full of shit and piss. <laughs> and you're gonna love the smell when the sun hits the side of your home. <laughs> it's awful, it's awful. Dogs don't like these things, they hate these things, you know? But if we're confused, because we come home, right? And uh, the dog's like, oh, God, I really gotta go out. <laughs> and wait, no, hey. You know, and then you let them back in, they're like, that was another close call. But then they did it, it's a good one, don't worry. Uh, and, and, and so we're confused, you know. But you know what the human equivalent of the dog run is? Does anyone know what this is? This is like when you're on a road trip with your friend and you tell them, you know, I gotta take a deuce, man. And they say, oh, we have the next stop, next stop, next stop. You get to the next stop, finally you're like, dude, just pull over. So then finally they take you to where? A grocery store. Uh, all right, so what do you do? You know, you get out of the car, you know, you run up to the door, the automatic door is opening kind of slowly, so you squeeze in there, you give them the crazy eyes, right? You're looking around, you're looking at the girl at Starbucks, she's like, I want no part of that. <laughs> Goes back to playing with her lip ring, you know? So you're like, okay, is it, is it the front? This is a target, it's not the freaking front, it's gonna be on the perimeter, right? You know, they all know it's on the perimeter. So you're running past the meat, the cheese, the freezer section. And finally, where the hell is it? It's by the lobster tank. Yeah, so then you run over there, you run over to the thing, and of course, what is there? There's a goddamn keypad. A goddamn keypad, so you're like, okay. Be the same. So, you know, it's probably just one, two, three, four. Nothing's been working, okay? It's probably the address, but you don't know the freaking address is the interstate. So you run back out, you look around, you look at the lobsters, you're like, we help you, pal, but our hands are tied. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he sort of scans so you see the thing that been working for six months, you run over to him, and you say, dude, dude, that door, but the, the watch goes, give me the freaking watch goes! And he's all like, oh, dude, I got back. Like, no, I don't know. So he says, uh, all right. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five! So you run back to the bathroom, and you come out smelling like urinal cakes, but you feel victorious, don't you? And when you get back out to the car, you know, what do you do? <laughs> oh man, it was another close call, but I made it. <laughs> I'm Sean Ryan, I'm a pet spader neuter. Thank you so much, guys.